Hello fellow adventurers, I'm Steph and today we're embarking on a heartwarming journey through a game that is enchanting as it is thought provoking. Welcome to At Winter's End, a cozy narrative dice rolling RPG about growing up, friendship and the magic of nature. In this captivating game, we'll step into the shoes of 12 year old Null. So grab your favorite warm beverage, settle in and let's dive into At Winter's End. It's a story you won't want to miss, but before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming adventures. Let the adventure begin. Every winter gives away spring, eventually. To most people, this is a passive event, something that happens thanks to the positive position of hemisphere and stars. And I tell you a secret, I know this reason why winter ends. I know because the wind told me. I was eight when I learned what the winter could think and feel. And I was twelve when our story begins, on the verge of having to say goodbye. My parents had me keep old pairs of shoes on the back porch. Dad said they were get better suited for exploring than the ones I wore to school. So this is a short indie game, as you can see. We are this little lady, Nul, uh, 12 year old. We can walk around, obviously. Once when I was six, I burned my hand trying to hide a rock among the charcoal. Ooh. After that, I had a habit of holding my hand close to the grill to check for heat before touching it. It's a good lesson. This is catching butterflies with bugs. My old bug net and storage containers. I would take those everywhere and leave them all over the forest. When I was out bug catching, wind would whistle inside itself through my net. And then what? This is a bug catcher, I think. And then this is a... Looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> a bird feeder. Mom hung up for hummingbirds. It was rarely full, thanks to the hummingbird's big appetites. Before we go left and right, let's... So this is wind. Hello, no. Long time no see. Wind was always very kind to me. But... But teased me in the way I'd see it. I'd see my friends. Old siblings teased them. It always wanted in on other business. You've been gone a while, huh? Something's going on. You've been away, so I have a feeling something might have happened. I'm fine. But thanks for asking. Well, no, since it's been a minute. I've been cooking up some new questions to ask you. You know, one of those hard ones you like those, yeah? Yeah, what is it? Here it goes, at the end of the long challenging day, what about the day makes it satisfying to you? Come on, what about those dice of yours? I want to see what you have to say. Nul has a hard time deciding what to say. Sometimes. Say sometimes. Luckily, they have these useful dice to help them out. To make a choice, you will need to roll the indicated symbol on your dice. These dice use three symbols. Looks like an owl for wisdom, a drop, a water drop with a heart, maybe paint, creativity, and a flower, a sapling, empathy. However, <laughs> Hover over a dice, a die to see its faces. Okay, so majority of it has a sapling. Majority is the creativity, and obviously majority the the the, the, the owl. Press the button to roll. Press to roll the dice. This one. Bling. You get one chance to re-roll your dice. Select one of or most, more of your dice that you wish to re-roll. So, this one. And I'm happy. 
fate has fate has decided on those. So we'll see what this is. Oh, and what? Accept your roll to move on. You can also accept your roll without re-rolling if, if you choose. Based on what you re-rolled, certain options are now available to you. If you fail to meet any requirements, one will be chosen for you. Then I grew closer to others, so this is the challenge that they asked the challenge at the end of the day. That I learned from my mistakes, that I grew closer to and learned from my mistakes. The day is usually hard because I did something wrong. If I did, hey, decide what to say. We've got a achievement. The day is usually hard because I did something wrong. If I did something wrong, I want to learn what it is so I don't do it again. That's a good mentality to take forward, certainly. Hmm. It's not always so obvious though, is it? What we do wrong. Thank you for indulging me. I always enjoy your company and perspective. Now that I've had my fun, Stone want, wanted me to, to ask you to go visit it. Or most it, rather. You'll see what I mean when you get there. Surely it hasn't been so long that you've forgotten it. It's to the northeast of here. Yes? I wonder if my question made you grow or not. I know those dice of yours grow alongside your heart and mind. Something tells me they'll be valuable asset to you in the coming days. Well, I suppose that's just a hunch. With a whoosh and a whistle, wind blew away. You just got a new die face. Null's die has specific. Um, Null's die are specific. They can customize and upgrade by replacing their faces growing on the glow, growing alongside Null throughout their journey. <laughs> you can see the face you just got here, and your dice are shown here. Display so you can see all six faces. By customizing your dice, you can improve your chance of being able to make the choice you want. Click on any of these spaces to place your new face on the die. So this is for, I think, we add it to the creative die. If you want to change your mind, you can choose another location to place your new face there. Once you are happy with your placement, click here to lock it. Once you lock a die, fa uh, die face in, you can no longer change it. Place face. Close the menu to return to the game. You can always view your dice by clicking the backpack icon here. But you can only customize your dice when you receive a new face. Okay, so it's north east. I just, uh, I, 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 if I remember correctly, if I recall. Miss Capybara, Capybara, loved gardening, even more than mom. Her beds always had such beautiful blend of flowers. So this is Miss Capybara, this is, these are toys in a tea party. Capybara had those toys for as long as I'd ever, I've been visiting the forest, all except the teddy bear. I gave it to her around my 10th birthday since Rat, since Rat loved it so much. He was so impressed, interested that human toys were made to look like animals. Capybara. Rat, rat, please. Miss Capybara, is everything okay? Where could he have gone off to? She didn't seem to hear me. I thought it might be best if I went and checked with stone and moss first. Uh, let's go east. So it was one north, one east, I think. But this is our oh, mouse cursor. There's a fishing rod. Stone and moss helped me make this fishing rod. I never caught anything with it, but I suspected that wasn't that wasn't the point of sitting together by the stream. I say the art style is beautiful. Olive, no, no. Hi, Olive. Hi, Sien. Sienna? Sien? The two youngest frogs were always full of energy. And look. 
looking for fun, they were, some, they were some of my most consistent playmates in the forest. We're looking for a third option. Which one of us is better at hiding? Not sure. I've never had to find other of you before. How about we play hide and seek? Then you can tell us who is better. We can look around for good, good spots today. And then you can come and find us tomorrow. I look forward to getting to see these hiding places of yours then. Okay, start a game of hide and seek with some friends. The game is a foot. Okay, that was an achievement. Cool. Probably gonna go more north. Yes, pebbles. When I was eight, I tried talking to the pebbles like I did to stone. I was really sad when they wouldn't respond. Stone conf confronted me and explained that though they don't talk, they're a part of it. More or less, it said. I like to think of them as its little children. Oh, mushrooms? I never liked mushrooms as a kid. Moss said I might grow to like them when I got older, but that still hasn't changed. Moss sat on stone, looking down at it with concern. Hmm. Hello, Noel. Is something wrong? The way Wynne was speaking makes me think something is wrong. Uh, I only... If only it went were not so. Yes, yes. Something is wrong. My dear stone is very thick. <laughs> as you can see, it's having trouble speaking as well. It's been, it's been a difficult way yeah, a few days since you've been gone. And of course, this had to happen just before Stone was set to talk to Winter. This was an event I'd heard of, but never seen. Stone would travel up the hill and speak to Winter itself to let it know that the season has ended. This had... This had been Stone's job for a long a longer time than human world words can describe. The Moss had to to had told me. So Moss had told me. Should should we worry? Should we be worried? I mean, if Winter doesn't leave, won't that mean the season not ending isn't something we can allow? Really, this isn't an easy ask, but no. Could you be the one to speak to Winter this year? Stone was certain it would be you. Why? Sorry, I just don't know if I could. Why not you? Or Lake? Someone older? Any of you? Really? <laughs> Stone opened its mouth with a clear intention to speak, but couldn't. Please, dear, rest. I'll say what you said to me. Let Null tell Winter why it can't be with us forever. Null will know. Always cryptic, this one. Sorry for that, Null. If you, if you say so, I will try my best. Excellent. Stone, Mast, are you here? From between the trees emerges Miss Capybara. A mother figure for the lost animal of the forest. It wasn't like her to look so worried. Ah, no. You're here too. Great. You can help. Miss Capybara, please calm Miss Capybara, please calm yourself. We can help. Yes, yes. But what exactly is the matter? It's my dear rat. The newest member of my family. We had a bit of a fight and he ran off. Thank you, thank you, Noel. I'm so glad I can count on you. I'll be in my hollow. I'll be in my hollow just west of here. Just in case he knows he comes back. It would be the best to ask around to see if any of the others have seen him. He can't have gotten far. He can't have gotten far. Okay, so we've spoken to them. What is this? Here was a small bottle of herbs and plants by stone and moss. Looks like someone had gathered a fresh supply. Maybe it was medicine to help with stone sickness. Plant, 
Speak to stone. Let's go north. Such a cute game. He has another frog. Honeydew was on the forest frog. They didn't talk much, but they did like the sand bath. This sun bath on the stump. Mr. Bean! What's this stuffed animal's name? I left him here as a reminder not to venture too far into the forest when I was small. When I got older, he just sat there peacefully in the grass, even, uh, even a watchful eye. Let's talk to wind. I like it. I take it you've discovered stone in most situation. I have. I have. But... I'm really worried about Rat. Miss Capybara said he ran off. He ran off, and she can't find him. You haven't seen him, have you? You always seem to know what's going on. I appreciate that you think that, but no, I didn't even know he was missing. If I hear anything, I'll be sure to let, to let you know. No. Okay. Cool. I wonder where Rat is. It's a, it's a funny name for a capybara. Or is it literally just a rat? Oh, he has a little lamb. The hill always had the best view. I could sit and look down at the trees for hours, aided by a trust, trusty binoculars. The best thing I ever saw was a woodpecker jabbing a hole into a tree. Jab, jab. We first found this spot when mom brought me and dad here to watch a comet pass by. I kept this blanket here for nights when I could convince them, when I could convince them to come stargaze with me. And as a little lamb. Flower was fiddling away with its floral design as per usual. Flower? Hey, can I ask you something? Oh, hello, no. I don't see you there. Is everything okay? Have you seen Rat anywhere? Capybara can't find him. And she's pretty worried. Oh dear, no, I haven't. I've been quite preoccupied, as you could probably tell. So, he hasn't been up this way then. Thanks for the help, Flower. Of course. Now, do I like do I like the look of these snowdrops here? Okay, so let's go down, down, down again. Which means we're gonna go to wind, and then we're gonna go east. Oh no, west here. I always get confused with east and west. But then I have to like northeast, southwest. Ah, yes, I remember. <laughs> we'll talk to you now, Toad Turtle. Sometimes I'd see a small brown bunny hopping through the grass around here. She always froze when she saw me and ran away when I got close. I just wanted to be friends. Is this water? Earth? Lake swam over to me and spoke in a hushed tone. Ah, no. Rat came here not too long ago and looked downcast. He won't quiet he won't quite open up to me. But I'm worried about him. He's scuffed. He's carried off in such a hurry too. I'm on the lookout, so don't worry too much, but please, let me know if you see anything else. Of course. Thank you, No. Okay, so, Harry falls to the left. Um, oh, are we back at Miss Capybara? Seen anything, Miss? Let's see, what, I can't remember what's to the right here. Yeah. Oh, that was Frog then. The two fraggies, the little frogs, and then up to the right of them is moss and stone. I mean, yeah, let's go to the right. What are we gonna find? Oh, he has a duck, there's a sand castle. Pond had this rubber duck since before I started coming to the forest. Sometimes it would play the ruler of our sand castle high atop this his mighty throne. But mostly, it just floated alongside the pond. Pond and I had built this day, this the day before. It was always a challenge keeping it sturdy with the water pond would splash onto the shore. 
and then this is obviously pond i'm assuming pond is lake's child hey there's rat hi so um, i found rat or rather he found me we talk a bit about the fr frustration of with not getting to see the human city hi um, agreed, since I can't see much of anything from the pond, I guess he sort of looked up to me now, a bit. <sighs> Damn. But we were talking just now, and he got quiet. Can you try talking with him now? Sure, rats down here. Yes, a dragonfly star stairs stared at me for a few seconds before zipping off into the reeds. Rat sat near the edge of the pond, looking out on the water. He noticed my approach. Oh, uh, noticed my approach inside. <laughs> what do you want, Noel? Miss Capybara asked me to look for you. Everyone worries about you. Worried about you. are worried, you know. Whatever. Not like she cares about me. Won't even tell me. Won't even tell me. Go visit human places. Let me. I see. Yep. That's why I'm here now. I'm not happy, though. Like I thought, I'd be running away and like oh. You always go back. Do you want to go back? Maybe. Damn. No, definitely not. I mean, I wouldn't know how. Even if I wanted to, and I don't. Definitely not. Rat wore a dis. Rat wore a distant expression on his face. I wondered why rats uh, rats had a reputation for dishonesty, when this one couldn't tell a lie for anything. Okay, let's roll this baby. What the heck? It's empty one, and this is the owl. Let's keep this owl here. Oh, you need. Let me see that now. Okay, so we can good play a game. Don't have a choice, eh? We could play a game. How about this? If I can beat you in a race, you have to go back and say you're sorry. If I lose. If you lose, you can bring me a human snack tomorrow. One with lots of salt. You're on. We lined up. We lined up my knees bent in preparation. Rat was too small. It was hard to tell if he was doing the same. Around the trees and back. First one to touch the water wins. Ready? Sit. Sit. Go. I took off first, and I hesitated just a second before starting. I figured my human length legs, as childish as they were, would give me enough of an advantage. He reached the tree first, but soon after I turned around, I, wa I was ahead again. When I reached the pond, I made a big splash with the stomp of my boot. Like, looks like I win. Darn. I really... Th <laughs> I really thought I would had you at the tree. I'll go home now. Wait, before you go, Rat, just make sure you say you're sorry. She was really worried about you. Oh well, it was fun racing, you know. Rat left for Miss Capybara's hollow. Yay, so, boom. I'm gonna try and make the... <laughs> yeah. They have all the plant, uh, like the plants beyond one and all that. Make our chances higher to have the one die fall on the one and all of that. Okay, let's go to Miss Capybara. These are, they will go and hide tomorrow. I'm glad the map isn't too big, so it's going to be a bit easier and not feel too repetitive to go and fetch there, to go and search for them. Oh no, Rat came back. And he tells me that you had a lot to do with that. Uh, thank you. He said something about a foot race. Oh, what fun. How you turned that into a way to get him back? I'll never know. 
Perhaps you'd be good at the sort of work I do yourself, no? Well, I'm very happy that everything turned out okay. In the distance, my mom's dinner bell rang. I should be heading home. Have a nice rest of your day, Miss Capybara. Come back and visit soon. It's always wonderful to see you. Rat return. Help Capybara find Rat achievement. Hey, you no. Know, thanks for running the ra that, that that race with me. Me and Old Miss uh, Lady Capybara patched things up, and I think you really helped. But you better watch out for next time. I'm going to practice. Almost sounded like a threat, but at least it wasn't. It was just enough race again. I heard that Rat is home safe and sound. Thanks to you. You're such a, bu a busybody, no? You were scurrying all over the place to find him. I could hear all of it. You really do hear everything, don't you? When... What amazing ears you have. All the better to guide you with, my dear. Now that everything's settled, I shall be off for today. But I'm sure I'll see you again tomorrow. Likely with some new questions to ask you. And I'll see you tomorrow with some new answers. The little crocs. And come home. Going home, the thought of being res responsible for ending winter's weight on me. But I was resolved. But I was resolved to grow in the way that I could before that moment could come. This is where we'll be ending today's episode. I really do hope you enjoy this game and this time with me. And thank you again for being here. Please remember to like and subscribe, it will help me out a lot and motivate me even more. You must have an awesome day, evening, morning, midday, however, and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye for now.